With the ball in hand on the cricket field, he was a magician. Uh, delighted to be joined by spin wizard Shane Vaughan himself. Uh, Shane, great to have you with us on India today. And uh, before you talk any cricket, uh, must compliment you. You're looking uh, smart and stylish as ever. Uh, and I guess a lot of about style goes with, with hair styling as well. And uh, you know that, that sometimes they can be uh, complex for people when, when you have receding hairlines. Uh, how have well you handled it over the years? Yeah, well, first of all, thanks very much for having me. I've, I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed being back with the IPL. I've uh, forgotten how great a tournament it is and how intense it is and how chaos it is, but mm -hmm. it's very, very interesting too. And for me, um, as you say, thank you very much for you know, acknowledging that I'm looking okay. I'm trying on 50 next year. Um, so I try to stay as healthy as I possibly can um, and like to have a pretty confident outlook on life. Um, and that starts with my hair. You know, I've always enjoyed having a good hairstyle. I've had some pretty ordinary ones before advanced hair. I had some ordinary ones there. Um, and I didn't like going bald, so I did something about it. And the key things for anyone out there is if it concerns you, and there's a lot of people out there that concern you, they wear a hat all the time. Um, and because they, you know, they, they, they lose their confidence, basically, when they start to lose their hair. So that's really important for people out there. I could advise them to get into advanced hair. Um, and make sure you get a, a consultation and they'll map out a, the right program for you. Because uh, not everyone is the same. That's what people don't understand. They think they have to go in because they've got a receding hairline or they're balding on the crown, um, or whatever it may be. Uh, but these days you can get early detection. You can get early, um, as early as you can get in there. You can get in there, you know, 18, 19, even younger if you want. Women, boys, uh, men, uh, it's for everyone. So get in there, my advice would be get in there as early as you possibly can, get detected and then let the advanced hair team come up with a program to suit you. It's the IPL season, Shane, and the whole of Rajasthan supports you. Half of Mumbai supports you because you've got a Mumbai boy as your captain. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when it's the end of the year, uh, India goes to Australia. And that time a lot of Indian cricket fans would want India to win. Uh, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of talk that perhaps considering the circumstances in Australian cricket, this is perhaps India's best chance. You also share that school of thought? Well, I mean, all the Indian boys are rocking their hair. How good is their hairstyles? They'll turn up in Australia, their hair will be slicked back and they'll be looking sharp. Don't worry, that's for one thing for sure. Um, led by Virat Kohli. Look, India is easily the best side in the world at the moment. I think they've got the most all-round team. Um, they've got all bases covered. Uh, usually when India used to come to Australia in the past, uh, you know, when I was playing, that they'd generally struggle in the fast, bouncy pitches. Uh, and their fast bowling was okay, but not as good as their spin. Um, and now we're seeing that, you know, some of their fast bowls as good as anyone in the world. So on the fast bouncy pitches, it's nice for Virat Kohli to not just concentrate on spin. Yes, they'll have some good spin. They've also got some excellent fast bowls. Um, so when uh, things aren't happening, the wicket's getting flat, they've got reverse swing, they've got pace, they can bowl short balls, and then they've got their spin plus quality batting. So they're a quality side, they've proven that. They've got England first, uh, where Virat's probably the only place he hasn't really nailed. Um, and I, I'm sure he'll nail England this year. I think Virat will have an unbelievable series in England, which will hold him in good stead when he gets to Australia. He played beautifully in Australia. The 100 he got in Adelaide, I think, for memory, um, the last tour was nearly match winning. It was, geez, he played well. Um, I love watching Virat Kohli play. Um, I think Virat Kohli and AB de Villiers are the two standout batsmen in all forms. You throw Steve Smith in there um, in test match cricket. But uh, I love watching Virat play. So watching Virat again in England and then in Australia later in the year on the fast bouncy pitches, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I think England are, you know, they, they probably go in as favourites, especially without Smith and Warner for Australia. Um, I'd say India for the first time in a long, long time, if not ever, or if not ever, uh, would probably go in as favourites against Australia later in the year. You, you had many a battle with Tendulkar. Is Virat Kohli in the Tendulkar league? Well, I think the way he plays, geez, I mean. You know, when you look at his numbers, and it's uncanny how many times he's got 100 in one day cricket, chasing a total and got it down. I don't think anyone, not even Sachin, could do as good as what Virat's done. Um, we know Sachin and Brian Lara were the two best players of all time in, in our era, in our, in our generation that we played. Virat is as good as anyone that I've seen play the game. Uh, he's a wonderful player, terrific player. I love his energy, uh, love his passion uh, that he plays with. Um, so yeah, look, I'm sure in time, once he finishes in another 10 years or so, I'm sure he'll go down in the same breath as someone like a Sachin. So a bit of talk if you made the right choice uh, going for uh, Surrey uh, County, just acclimatised to the English conditions, opting out of a test match against Afghanistan. Michael Clark believes every test match a cricketer should play. Where do you stand on that? Well, look, I think it's a one-off test match against Afghanistan. Um, I think you should always try and play a test match if you can. but. I think it's a brave and courageous decision and shows you how important the England series is for him personally and his team. 
Uh, he hasn't really nailed England before. Jimmy Anderson's had his number. Um, so I don't, I don't mind Virat missing this one-off test match. If it was a series, I think the captain should be there. Um, but I'm very um, happy that Rahane is going to captain that test side. I think that's fantastic for Jinx. I'm really happy and proud for him. Uh, so I don't mind Virat missing this one-off test match. It's a one-off game, so I don't mind that. And I love um, the, the, the bravery and the courage that he's had to go and play county cricket to prepare for, that, uh, for the England series. I think that shows how important it is, as I said, and also what it means to him. Um, so I think it's a great decision, great decision for Virat to do that. And it also shows how much he values test cricket. You know, you can talk about him not playing this one, but he's valuing test cricket. He wants to go and play first class cricket um, in England in those conditions before the test series. So I think that says a lot. Last couple of things, putting your uh, RR mentor hat on. Uh, yes. Business end of, uh, yeah. of the tournament, race to the playoffs. Uh, what do you reckon? Uh, look, I, it's all about peaking at the right time. I think the Royals, <coughs> excuse me, I think the Royals are starting to peak at the right time. Uh, there's no point winning three or four games at the start of the tournament and losing the middle and the back end. You need to win now. Um, there's probably, th I, I think, Delhi are definitely out. RCB are most likely out. Um, they might get in with seven wins and a really good run rate, but they have to win a couple of games, like, huge, because their run rate's so bad. Um, so, look, I really, there's probably four teams. You've got Sunrisers and probably Chennai will definitely make it, even though Chennai still need to win a game. A game. They'll, those two will probably make it, so that leaves two spots between four teams, I reckon. It's, uh, you've got Sunrisers, KKR, um, ourselves, the Royals, and uh, Mumbai. There's probably four teams going for two spots. We've got a terrible run rate, so we're going to have to win one of our last three games really well. Um, but if we beat Mumbai today, then um, you know the Royals for us, we're right back in the mix. We've won our last couple of games well. We've got a couple of players that haven't quite done what they wanted to do in the IPL. So I think Super Sunday in the IPL in Mumbai doesn't get much bigger than that. Uh, and we're the two informed teams. Mumbai and uh, the Royals are the two informed teams. So. It should be one hell of a game tonight. The place will be rocking and uh, looking forward to it. A final question. With all your wealth of knowledge and, and tactical acumen, what advice would you give Ajin Karahane looking ahead at his limited overs career? World Cup uh, a year from now finds himself dropped on the one-day team. Is it a confidence thing? What is it? Look, I think we know what a quality player um, <coughs> Jinx is. Um, what, we ne what he needs to decide is, I suppose, what type of exact player he wants to be. We know how good a player he is. We know he's got all the skill in the world. Uh, we know how good he is in the Test Match arena. Uh, he's probably the first one picked in the Test Match cricket. Um, so uh, in one day cricket and then the shorter form, he's just got to work out is he going to be a, a glue in the middle, middle order player or a gun at the top that fires. So he's got all those traits. I think he's just caught in between which one best suits him and best suits the team. So um, he, he will be a de he's a required player for India. He's a quality player. He's a class person. He's a great fella. Um, and I, I'd be disappointed if he's not in all of the Indian teams um, in the future because he's just such a class act. Thanks so much for your time, Shane. Always enjoy talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.